my name is Vincenity. Today, Gamer Block, M for Mature. Now you're saying to yourself, I've never seen that box before. That box, I, I've seen the subscription box boxes out there. I've never seen this one. Um, this one is actually from Nerd Block. Uh, this is the new form of the arcade block. They have now gotten rid of the arcade block and they are going with two separate boxes in its place. They have Gamer Block E for Everyone Edition and Gamer Block M for Mature. I got the M for Mature. Um, I am unsure of how these boxes are going to go, so I'm going to try them out for a couple months. And if I'm not too happy with the route that they're going, I'm probably going to go in a different direction. But uh, for now, let's go ahead and give the Gamer Block a, a shot. Uh, they don't come all taped up like the other ones. They came in a plastic wrap and for some reason I thought the plastic wrap had my address on the outside of it so I ripped that off and then found out that the address was still on the box anyway so uh, yeah that's why it seemed open already but I have never seen any of the items in here uh, so let's go ahead and do it. Uh, they now have a unboxing tips unblocking? Oh nerd block. <laughs> unblocking tips uh, at the top uh, take pictures, share, nerd out. Um, you can win prizes for uh, taking pictures of the items in your box. Um, yeah. So first out of the box is a box. And it says Vault Boy Bobblehead. Now this one we will actually need our tools for unboxing. Use my throwing dagger implement there. So this is from Fallout 4 or I think from any of the Fallouts really. Um, and looks like I've got a um, Fallout or the Vault Boy in the uh, what is it, St. Patrick's Day vibe to him, and he like likes to bobble his head and shake his head and do all that. That is kind of interesting. You can't take the leaf out of his hand, but you can take the the hat off the top of his head. So we'll go ahead and leave that there. I have never played Fallout. Um, I know a lot of my friends have been really trying hard to get me to try it out uh, and I just haven't committed to it yet um, I don't know when I picked up Destiny I just became addicted to Destiny and that's all I've really ever played on my PS4 but maybe one day we'll get there next is the shirt now right off the bat I can tell you this is a white t-shirt which I'm not really a big fan of white t-shirts um, but this, I will say, is my first white t-shirt I've ever gotten in a box. Now, I don't know what this is, because I can't see it yet. I'll let you guys take a look at it, figure out what it is, and then... Okay, so this to me, it's got the forest. Oh, I see what they did there. I thought that was just shading. Can you see, can you guys see it? It's the, uh, dinosaur head in the dark green shading. I didn't notice that at first. And then the woman in the background. I want to say, like, a Tomb Raider game? But this is not ringing a bell to me. Is this something new that's coming out? Oh, is this... No, it can't be the New Horizon game coming out. Which I am so freaking excited for that game. I am buying that game, and I am playing that game. Oh... Uh, that and For Honor. For Honor, I think both of them are going to go in my collection. So, there's that. I'm not sure what that is. I'm hoping the reveal at the end will will tell me. Next, we have a Sniper Elite uh, mini keychain and projection. So, it looks like that. I'll give, in case there's any clear, I'll give some sideways glances to it. Now, I'm not, I haven't played Sniper Elite either. Let's see if I can press the button. Okay, I can. 
Oh, so it's like, if you guys can see that, it's like crosshairs. It's sh shooting a light and it has crosshairs. That's kind of cool. Not a bad item. Different than the rest. Okay, we have the Lone Wanderer pin. And they're doing that the, the way I like with those little, those clasps. I like them that way. Um, and I'm guessing this is just a pin about unboxing because it looks like it's uh, a box that's been opened from the bottom. So we'll see what that is at the end, if it's relevant to anything or just this one. This feels kind of light. What is this? Event Zero. Oops. It's at the other end. I guess I'll open it from the other end. It looks like it's just a piece of paper. Oh! Okay, so Event Zero. This is a card with a code on the back for the game and the soundtrack to the game. That, I kind of like. That's something that uh, one of my other boxes, and if you've watched any of my old content, you'll see that uh, Geek Fuel does Steam games. And that's one of my favorite things about Geek Fuel, is they, they have that Steam game. It gives me entertainment beyond just the unboxing. And I really, really like that. And I'm kind of glad to see that they do this. Um, only I think they should take note from Geek Fuel and make, like, sending it in a big box. It just kind of takes up space. It's really light. They send it on a card. Cards are okay. But Geek Fuel has done numerous times where they'll stick it on an air freshener or they'll stick it on magnets and like they'll stick it on usable items that you can use just beyond grabbing the code and tossing it away. So um, I hope that they get into doing something like that. These are unique that they throw them in a little box, but they're just kind of unnecessary. Like I hope that that kind of changes. Um, we have the um, spoiler booklet. Looks like they've moved up to a booklet. Um, there's no spoiler cards anymore. They've got like an actual like magazine, uh, which is what a lot of the other boxes are doing, which I really like. We have a print, the Revenge of Shinobi. It's got a certificate of authenticity printed on the back, which is different. I don't think I've ever seen that. Why? Why do they need an authenticity for? a print. It's not signed, it's not really special in all that that much of a way. But we got a print. Now most of my prints, if they're signed, I keep them here and I do something special with them. If they're not signed, I'll take them to work and I'll hang them up. So this one looks like it'll go to work. Um, I haven't played Shinobi since oh, way back in the day. That's that's one of those retro games. Those I want to say I, I played for it up it was on Sega, like the original Sega is when I, when I played it. Then you get your puzzle piece with the uh, $10 credit. Um, I don't normally use the $10 credits. Um, I save the puzzle pieces to try to get that $100 credit. But if any of you would like that code, just go ahead and enter it online. The first one to use that gets it. Gives you $10 off on their shirt store. So have fun with that. Um, let's go ahead and open the booklet and see what we mistakenly identified. Um, okay, Nerd Block Nation uh, just gives you sort of a general greeting. Um, page one is Freddy Krueger, something about Freddy Krueger that's kind of odd for a January box. So that's kind of interesting there. I, I would expect that more towards October, or maybe one of the months surrounding October, like September or November or something of that effect. Um, they did a Q&A with Mark Hamill, who, um, or Matt Hamill, <laughs> totally different person. I was going to the route there. I was like, why would you do that? Like, um, So it looks like he was a creator of um, Asteroid Base, the video game. And what's inside January's Gamer M block? And there is a picture of Tomb Raider jumping out of the box. 
Okay, this I like. The Fallout bobblehead you could have got in many different um, versions. Um, there's some plain versions with him just standing there or doing a one-handed handstand. Um, there's the Irish one. There was, if I saw correctly, the uh, nerdy one with a bullhorn, one carrying a big needle, one carrying a Gatling gun, and one carrying a pistol. I would have liked the Gatling gun one. Like, that would have been fun. Everybody's going to get the Sniper Elite 4 light with the crosshairs. Um, oh, that makes a lot more sense. The pin. If you've ever played Metal Gear Solid, the cardboard box is from Metal Gear Solid, where you hide under it, under it, and you be stealthy, and you're walking, and you sit down, and guards walk by you, and then you get up and go again. That makes a lot more sense. I like that. And then Revenge of Snobby Art Print. Everybody's going to get that. Event Zero uh, Steam Game. Everybody's going to get that. And I'm so glad I was correct about this. But the Tomb Raider t-shirt. That is what that is from. And I really like the design on the t-shirt. I love that it's Tomb Raider. I love the design that they took with it. I just not on white shirts. I'm not a big white shirt fan. You, I think, I don't think I have a white shirt. I think I always end up donating them or um, using them as like um, yard work shirts or something to that effect. Um, so, yeah. February's theme is round two. Fight! So, I'm expecting to see uh, Street Fighter, or um, just maybe like a wrestling game. I'm not big on the wrestling stuff, but um, I can see wrestling going in there, like a WWE game or NWO from the old days. Um, maybe some new stuff like Tekken or Mortal Kombat. That'd be kind of cool. I was a big Mortal Kombat fan, so I hope to see some of that. And. Uh, and they give you kind of a cool little article here at the end that says the doppelgangers of Marvel versus DC. So you have a character from Marvel, and they pick out the DZ, uh, the DC version of that character, and that's kind of cool. I like that. I'll probably give that a look a little closer read. Um, but that is it. That is the box. Um, I'm happy with the box. Um, I will definitely be continuing on for a little bit longer, um, but there are some changes that I definitely think that they need to address to make it a little better. Um, let me know what you guys think down below, uh, whether you agree with me or whether you think I'm totally off base. Um, I will leave, If you like this box, I will leave a link in the description so you can get your own. Uh, remember they do have E for everybody and M for mature. They also have a lot of other boxes, shirt block, horror block. Uh, the classic one, um, sci-fi fantasy block, like, they've got tons of blocks, so they've really got something for everybody. Uh, go ahead and uh, follow me on Twitter, and make sure you hit that subscribe button. Um, I definitely want to keep this up, so um, I want to see those subscribes go up, up, up. But, uh, yeah, I guess that's going to do it for today. I will see you in a little less than a week for VGM. VGM should be here anytime, and we'll do that unboxing. So I will see you later.